714 on a run coming at you live from West Hampton Beach get a load of that view uh, I am here uh, in my red and white striped nautically themed shirt as everyone knows I like to try and blend in with the locals I see a lot of people with the sort of the, the, the boat clothes I've asked around and it turns out that it's because a lot of families here come from a long line of seamen uh, many of them they're seamen their fathers were seamen grandfathers seamen grand you know great grand all seamen uh, and you know I, I learned an interesting fun fact as well while doing this research originally the Ernest Hemingway book old man in the sea was titled old man and the seamen the publishers felt that the you know the audience at large wasn't mature enough to handle the word seamen which is like a really sad reflection of the times they were living in i'm here with bill bill is just so amped up aren't you bill because phil has decided after a very fraught relationship with social media he's going to go back on and he's just going to kill it um he has a lot to say and he wants people to to hear it so I've been advising him. I'm, of course, you know, no one knows social media quite like I do. And you know, I've been telling him how to utilize the platforms. And I'm gonna impart some of that wisdom to you. First and most obvious, know the trends. Know what's going on. And right now, it's like, it's like all about butts. Um, people wanna see pictures of other people's butts. And they wanna see them frequently in different outfits and there's no end to how many butts or how often they, they want to see them. Uh, you know, I don't like to brag, but you know, the famous, I'd say the famous selfie that revolutionized the butt selfie phenomenon, 2014, Black China and Kim Kardashian. People will often talk about the shooter, the second shooter on the grassy knoll, but um, you know, I was actually, I was the third butt in that butt selfie. Uh, you know, it was, like, it was actually my idea. I said, you know what? Uh, I think it would be like a great thing for women everywhere if we just get out there and say, yeah, we're women, but it doesn't mean that we're not free to wear workout clothes, take pictures of our butts, and post them on the internet. Like, who are you to tell me I can't do that? And uh, we, we wanted, frankly, to send that message to future generations of women, hoping that they would follow in those footsteps. You know, because these are some great times we're living in where you can do that uh, if you want to. And I'm so glad people do want to. Of course, you know, I was eventually edited out. They both felt very threatened and we know what happened with that relationship recently. And it's sad because I feel the more butts there are in a selfie, the stronger, you know, we're stronger, our butts are stronger together. Uh, so anyway, I've been encouraging Phil butt selfies. He's a little self-conscious about the tail, but we're working on that. Number two. Uh, there's so many tools available to you. So you gifts, memes, uh, others that I have never heard of. And you should be using them, but not abusing them. Someone who really doesn't get this is Paul Bryan, who is kind of on a daily basis sending me pictures, or me, uh, gifts rather, of himself dressed as a furry. Uh, he has what he calls his, his persona. And sort of half uniform, half weasel, very disturbing. And I've tried politely to say, like, really, that's not my thing. Uh, you just, it happened to meet me on Halloween and not getting the hint. So, you know, use but don't abuse the tools of the internet. Number three, there's no conflict worth having uh, if you're not having it publicly. Uh, I think a great example of this would be my fight with James Franco over my decision not to invest in his Spring Breakers themed restaurant. You know, I felt, first of all, uh, the guy is spread way too thin. I, I didn't know where he was gonna find the time. And I also thought, you know, what is the cuisine of Southwest Florida? And are people gonna like having waiters with automatic weapons serving them? Uh, and Jay, he kept trying to call me to talk it over. Cause of course all the other investors pulled out when they found out I didn't want to be involved. He called me and I'd say, you know what? If you have something to say to me, you can say it uh, on the internet so everyone else can see it, you know? Uh, I, I'm not into this sort of like private resolution of conflicts. Uh, you know, I will say I learned the hard time about investing in friends' businesses, Matthew McConaughey, 
convinced me to invest in his landscaping business. And you know, he would just show up in people's houses, take his shirts off, his shirt off, and uh, walk around, and go, all right, all right, all right. And he didn't under, you know, people were really, there was an expectation he was going to do planting. And he just sort of lounged by the pool. A lot of money wasted and saw it. Uh, and the last, the last tip, everything you eat, photograph it. Put it up online. People want to see it. And you should be eating protein all day.